I want to share my experience evaluating the UBA 3.0 and I'm really very impressed with several aspects. One is the UBA rules that you can actually access either from here or from or here. Uh, and I have covered this in fairly good detail in a separate video for how to tune UBA, which this panel is spectacular for. One thing I forgot to mention on that video is the fact that every rule that you look has this information icon that you can even click further down and it takes you to the actual documentation of, the, uh, of that uh, particular rule so you don't have to do it as I normally would have done it otherwise which is going into the editor but if this is too geeky for you you can actually look at the uh, documentation and, and that's fine I forgot to mention that and the other thing I forgot to mention in in here is that when the UBA dispatches a new event uh, those events uh, do not go against your uh, EPSs so the first obvious difference in here is that the look of the app has improved tremendously uh, in here we have the recent the recent offenses related to UBA so these are users who cross the reach threshold and therefore offenses were fired and, and I closed all those already but they show here also you have the recent risk as well as the accumulated risk score how the risk score is actually moving and you got different colors in here uh, for uh, indicating the severity of it now one important thing is a lot of addition into the watch list if you click here on the watch list, I'm going to first create uh, create a new watch list because there's a lot of functionality. I can give it a name, you know, and I can specify, well, anybody, let's say that I'm working with system accounts or, or admin people and they convey the higher risk. I can say, well, multiply the risk of all those by 10 and to the machine learning, which I'm not showing in this demo, uh, increase the, the actual risk. But when you go into the membership settings, you can actually import people from reference set. So you have a reference set with executives. You can actually bring those from that reference set in here or admins or service accounts. You can also search those via regex, which is very powerful. So you can get, for example, all the SVC uh, accounts, uh, you know, get them get the name here uh, all the James all the admin accounts uh, get them here and and in the last I, uh, uh, field you specify how often do you want this to be the regex evaluated or the reference set uh, re-imported and if you put zero zero then uh, it's meant to be something that you do once and you do manually uh, so you can add those by, by like that and I have a, a, a watch list of all the James so you put in the regular expression just James and it gave me all the James that I have in here but you don't only have to do it that way let's say I want to add Michael so I can click here and add to the James list and then Michael should be popping up in here as soon as I uh, refresh the screen <laughs> actually I just realized uh, I have <laughs> more than a thousand James in my database so that's what it did not show in here. So let me actually add Michael to this other list, uh, list 12 that I have here. And then you see that he pops up immediately there. So you can actually watch your admin, your service account, your executive. You can have a uh, different uh, watch list and the mechanism of uh, adding them via regex or, or uh, reference set is actually quite convenient. The other enhancement has to do with the way that uh, these guys improve the looking at the timeline. Remember the, the, the previous timeline was a graph going up and down on the risk. This is actually far more interesting. So in the timeline you have kind of the same information but it now is a bar and indicates you know risk event versus uh, user events and you have a like a uh, one hour interval segment but in here is what I like the most uh, this separates the activity of the user 
by session. So let's say that the user works from, and in this particular case, from 11.36 to 1.23, 1 1.8 hours, and then he stopped working, let's say, for 20 minutes. And, and, and in here, we, we saw that he started early and he worked for 1.2 hours. So you can actually evaluate what the guy was actually doing in that particular period of time. And you can see, you know, all the elements that were risky. And you can click in here and see, you know, the, 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 the details of those and say user geography change. What is that? Well, because the guy has been trying to log in from the U.S., from whatever country this is, from China, from Germany. Uh, so, and you... It's very easy to analyze that. You can look at the all the events. You can look at the uh, the, the use cases. Uh, how many source IPs? And obviously, because this guy was going from all these uh, different geographical locations, there are multiple IPs uh, 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 related, and only one uh, destination IP. Right? Very, very. Uh, useful to understand better what the guy was doing when he's uh, when an offense an offense was triggered because he exceeded a threshold or because you just see in any other offense and you want to go to the UBA to understand the guy